new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. Hi everybody, this is Gregory Gorey with BodyWorkMasters.com and today we're going to be doing some chair massage on the scalp and neck and upper shoulders with Karina. So the first thing I like to do is just come to this upper trapezius and work it segment by segment. This can also be done with a fist. Working with fists is a, a good idea to save your thumbs, but as long as you aren't doing too much chair massage and you aren't using too much thumbs, you should be okay. And also to keep your thumbs straight. When you're working with your thumbs, it's best to work in this direction rather than this direction and have your thumb hyperextended. So, same thing, coming down flat. Working the upper trapezius. <clears throat> Taking it all the way up to the spinous process. Don't go directly on to the sp spinous process, but you can certainly massage next to it. From there, you can actually start to just slowly come up. And I can feel that Karina right here um, has a, a joint that's a little jammed up. So we are going to try to um, stretch that back into place. How I'm going to do that is as I'm coming up, I can feel uh, this, this bone kind of pop out at me. So what happens is uh, the two vertebrae close and then on the side that it's closed it rotates out towards you. That's what I'm feeling right here. Um, so Karina, let me have you sit up for a moment. So I've still got my hand on that segment and now I'm going to ask her to bring her head down and then bring her head up. Um, and when she goes down I can feel uh, that bony landmark staying there, but when she goes back up, um, it derotates back, so it goes back into a natural position. So the problem that she's having is in this flexion, that this vertebra uh, won't open. So we aren't going to do any kind of chiropractic adjustment, but we can put the hand right there, and I'm going to gently side bend her until I f start to feel that segment move, and then I'm going to back off just a hair and then I'm going to rotate that open until I feel motion there and then back off a half a hair and then bring her down until I feel motion and then back off just a little bit. Now, Karina, with a gentle 10% of your effort, try to come back to the starting position to neutral. So a lot of times people will try to overpower you, uh, but what you're actually trying to get is and relax is to stretch the little intrinsic muscles and if they contract too hard you're going to get the extrinsic muscles the big movers rather than the intrinsic ones which are the ones we are trying to stretch with this procedure so just did that we're going to sit, relax your head again totally dead head so I do all the motion start to feel the vertebra open then I rotate until I start to feel it open again and then I back off a quarter of a hair and then bring her down until I feel motion. Come back to the starting position one more time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. And same thing, side bend, relax. Side bend, rotate, down. And let's have you try that one more time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. 
then we're going to side bend again, rotate, and down. And go ahead and come back in. So that feels like it's in a more neutral position now, and we <clears throat> can do that by actually specifically stretching out the muscles that are keeping that uh, joint in a dysfunctional state. So coming with both hands, you can also come up to the top of the head here. You can go up and down. You don't want to be doing a lot of digging right underneath here because there are a lot of uh, nerves and what have you, but you can come right up on top of the bone and do some nice little light circles. People love having their scalps massaged, although if you're doing this uh, chair massage in a kind of a, you know, in an office building or uh, the airport or uh, wherever it is that you find yourself doing chair massage, um, while people generally love having their uh, scalps massaged, you also have to uh, check in with them if you're at work because they might not want their hair messed up. So if they, if you've got a a uh, man in a business suit, he probably wouldn't appreciate a new hairdo, so check in before you do this. Coming to the top of the head, around the ears, Karina's groaning with with <laughs> enjoyment at this. So from there, you can also come in with dual fists. And release the upper trapezius. And finally, the move that I really uh, enjoy doing and I get a lot of good feedback with, it's usually the last thing that I do when I'm doing a chair massage, is you want to um, be using a fist and keeping it here. If you do this, if you do this move like this, you're going to hurt your wrist. I, I learned that out the hard way when I was uh, first uh, doing chair massage many years ago. So fist, well, this hand comes here and then the opposite hand comes across the body with a fist and then you're pulling away. And the same thing to the other side. Hand comes here. Hand crosses underneath with a fist. And, you know, feel free to move around. So my hand is here and it's locked. I'm getting a stretch and I'm moving it over here, just back and forth in these various positions. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I think we're gonna do one or two more chair massage videos, so we'll see you next time for that.